Gaffer, that's a performance which I know fell well short of your expectations. Yeah, it's it's unrecognisable from what we've been seeing lately, and um, it's very difficult to to put your finger on that. Um, nowhere near good enough. I think the expectations I've set with the players that's not a performance which I, um, I want to put. I want my team to to put in. Um, basics we didn't get right. The the goals we can see the very poor goals. Um, but ultimately, I, I just felt. You know, we were second to, to every second ball. We we lacked energy. We we lacked um, creativity. We didn't want players. Players didn't seem to want to get on the ball, and so it's very frustrating and, as I said, unrecognisable to to what we've been trying to do. And imagine not one you could predict, given the performances over the past two, three games. No, and um, again, listen, it's, I take the responsibility for for it, of course, as the manager. Um, but I think as a as a team over the last well certainly in the last three games we've seen you know small steps of progression um, and then when I see a performance like that it, it's from nowhere and um, it's very hard to take um, because I think that the fans here deserve more than, than that what they've just witnessed so um, again it's something we have to you know figure out why this has happened it's the second time this has happened now since I've been here um, from a performance point of view and um, I can't accept it I can't accept um, some of the individual performance but also the performance as a team Whenever you concede three goals you're asking for a lot to do in the game how do you pick the bones out of the goals you've conceded tonight? Very poor very poor goals and again there's basic elements in all three of the goals the second goal for instance it's our goal kick we, we go long um, we're, we're trying to go to Manu um, we don't hit, hit the ball in the right area um, then we don't win the first header, then we don't win the second flick on, then we don't win the third flick on, we're not tight enough, um, then we don't cover round. Um, so there's so many different elements which um, is really frustrating and as I said, you don't see you don't see it coming. So it's something which we, we really need to look at closely because that's not good enough. And on the ball, what did we need to do better today? Want it. I think that's simple, want the ball. Want to take the ball and have used to the players in there in the dressing room. I used young Romel as an example of a young 17-year-old kid who comes onto the pitch, wants the ball, um, plays with character, plays with aggression. Um, and when I'm using a 17-year-old you know, kid as an example to some senior players in there, um, if I was a senior player, that's a concern because they should be setting the example for Romel, not the other way around. Yeah. We come out for the second half, brightly trying to search a way of getting back into the game. I think we go close with Mark Roberts' header, then concede on the counter-attack. Is that third goal that the real sucker punch for us? Yeah, it is. But again, there's, you know, you, <laughs> you set the team up and when when I'm seeing these goals going in, what we're conceding, it's, it's, it's crazy. The goals we're conceding and how we're conceding them. So, of course, we're working on, on trying to stop that. Um, and sometimes, you you know, whether you're delaying um, someone, um, we need players covering round and, it's um, it's very frustrating um, when we're conceding these goals because um, I think for over the last few weeks for large portions of games, not not necessarily tonight, um, we've defended well, but then we let ourselves down with you know small moments in games which then cost us um, points. So, um, but today ultimately you can look at everything I've I've, I've done and tried to do since I've been here. Um, today was a real disappointment when. It's almost like a suck punch when you don't see it coming and, and we get that performance today. I know you shoulder responsibility as manager, but what's the response being like in the dressing room after the, the result? Disappointed, frustrated. Um, again, what you'd expect. Um, this this club means a lot to a lot of people. Um, I said this to the players and the, the staff who are coming in every day um, trying to give the players everything they need. Um, the time, the the energy, the effort for these players who, for a lot of them staff, would love to be in the position the players are in. Um, so the players have, have let the staff down with that today. Um, Just looking on... They've let the fans down. It's not, it's not good enough. Just looking on some of the positives, Tyler Roberts on the pitch for the first time since August, Keshi Anderson with some minutes as well, you're getting those two back, which will be big, big pluses. Yeah, I think for having Tyler back and Keshi back, um, obviously great for us to, to get them two back. The, Two, two important players for us so um, yeah 
glad they got on the pitch. Unfortunately, it was in the circumstances it was, but um, I think the minutes will help them. Is there an update on Lee Buchanan and Mark Roberts who marched down the tunnel when he came off as well? Yeah, Robbo, I'm not sure um, the extent of Robbo's injury. Um, we're, we're bare um, at the back. Um, obviously, um, we haven't got many options at the back, so hopefully Robbo's OK. Um, and what was the other one? Yes. Lee Buchanan. L- Lee, um, sorry, is, he's progressing OK. He'd be after to go through the protocols for a week and get an independent doctor in to look at him uh, so we hope that we can have him available for Leeds but we have to wait and see on him and we can't feel sorry for ourselves we go again in three days time back here against Bristol City yeah, we and that's, ourselves the, that's, that's the only positive from tonight is we've got a game so quickly and um, against the team we were in good form as well so um, we have to make sure we're ready for that thank you Gaffer cheers